It's a great victory for Edwin Hardiman. He took on one of the most powerful agrochemical companies in the world and won. The jury said Roundup was defective and the company deceptive. Today, the jury sent a message loud and clear that companies should no longer put products on the market for anyone to buy without being truthful, without testing their product, and without warning if it causes cancer. The jurors said the agrochemicals giant had been negligent by not using reasonable care in warning Hardiman about its product's potential risks. Last year, a court in San Francisco also found in favor of a groundskeeper who said glyphosate had given him non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is the second case where the jury has unanimously held that Roundup causes cancer. And Monsanto and Bayer need to take note of that and they need to change their business model and their business practices. Bayer bought Monsanto in mid-2018 for $63 billion. It continues to insist the herbicide is safe when used as directed. But with share prices sliding almost 40 percent since the acquisition, the purchase came at a higher than expected cost. We know today that because of the American securities laws, Bayer couldn't look into the charges against Monsanto, nor into its books, so it was buying a black box. And the risk in buying an unknown entity is being shown right now. Hundreds of studies have shown glyphosate to be safe, while many others have found it a health risk. After two years of fierce debate, the EU decided in 2017 to renew the weed killer's license for use in the block for another five years. But now Bayer faces more than 11,000 lawsuits involving Roundup in the U.S. alone. Well, for more now on the story, let's cross over to our financial correspondent, Daniel Koop in Frankfurt. Uh, Daniel, this is not the first time a U.S. court has found Monsanto guilty of negligence, forcing it to pay tens of millions of dollars in damages. What does this mean for the company that owns Monsanto now, Bayer? Well, hi there, Terry. I can tell you that all of this is making the company uh, very nervous because we have to remember already when uh, Bayer started to talk to Monsanto, there were uh, lots of problems. And um, also here, investors uh, in the financial hub here in Frankfurt were uh, very concerned that this takeover could be too expensive, could be too risky for the company. We have to remember that the company was taken over for a record amount of 66 billion U.S. dollars. And now, yeah, you mentioned it, there could be potentially more and more lawsuits coming. And all of this is, of course, also ruining uh, the image um, of the company. I mean, Monsanto uh, used to be or maybe still is the most hated company in the world. And it could be now also the case that, uh, you know, Bayer could have this image. And this is uh, making people here very concerned. By taking over Monsanto, uh, the German company Bayer has inherited thousands of potentially costly lawsuits. Uh, is Bayer starting to finally regret the takeover now? Well, and the next lawsuits actually um, are going to happen in the next days. Uh, we are hearing that a court now in California will be also um, talking about this uh, lawsuit uh, in the next days. And it's very interesting uh, the strategy that uh, Monsanto and Bayer are following at the moment. They are still thinking that um, at the moment it is still cheaper, uh, you know, to uh, pay those lawsuits and not to agree on a settlement. But yes, uh, all of this is here monitored with some concern. Daniel, thank you very much. DW uh, financial correspondent Daniel Koop there in Frankfurt.